What's up, Tricksters? Beatrix here. Welcome back to Life is Strange 2, episode 4. Okay, so Sean and Daniel are separated. I'm looking for Daniel right now. He's with Jacob in Nevada. So I bust out of the hospital, escaped the police, escaped the detective, stole the car, got beat up, and now I'm alone in the scorching heat, walking. I don't know how far I'm trying to walk, but obviously I'm gonna have to get a hitchhike or something because there's no way I can do that journey on foot. So anyway, that's where we're gonna pick up. Hopefully Sean doesn't, I mean, I wonder how bad his injuries are. He's got his eye, of course. He has no death perception. I don't know why I can't say that. And now he was beat up and it's hot and he's dehydrated and tired. So hopefully, I don't know, he can find some people to help him out soon. But we will see. All right, let's go, okay. Sean. Next billboard. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. Mm, I almost feel bad for making him walk faster. He's so tired already. But at least he's just walking. He's not like doing a jogger, a run, or a sprint. What does it say? Two pair? Oh, that's a gambling joint. Twenty-two miles ahead. What is? Oh, shit! I need a break. What is this? One say. Might be some shade at the next billboard. Larry's Fireworks, exit 117. Cool. Okay. There's a tire. This is so beautiful though. The, I mean, the colors and the mountains and background, the sky and the clouds. It's an amazing digital image or rendering or whatever you call it, it's beautiful. Yes. Shade. Alright, let's sit and think for a bit. Sit and rest. Oh, man. Nice boots, though. My feet are killing me. Well, maybe they're not the best walking shoes. Feels like hiking in hell. There's a ladder. Is that how you change the signs? Okay, look around. Ooh, let me... Okay, first, fine. Water first. I wanted to draw something, but... Oh, shit. Health first. My throat feels like sand. I'm glad I have water. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's sketch. Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. It's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. So how's my drawing gonna be now that... I'm... Injured in the eye. Now my depth perception is impaired. All right. Uh, let's get the bushes and stuff now. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. This place is so empty. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get the clouds. I again. guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I like adding the details. Aww. Coming together. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Mm. 
Guess I can spice things up a bit. <laughs> Make the whole thing funnier. Be positive, man. Draw an oasis. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Got a good picture of it. <laughs> I'm ready to draw now. It's so cool. Oh, is that a koala? That's so cute. That's awesome. Man. Or lemur. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. Oh, it sucks. Ah, uh, charisco, charisco. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. Birdie. Ah. Uh. The desert just goes on forever. Let me get a picture of Sean. The nice background. And your good eye. Yeah, we can get them both in. Alright, took your portrait, Sean. Let's get up now. Okay, so now that I have my backpack, can I see what's in it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've got $17. I don't know what in the world happened to my $1,400. Figured as much the cops took all my cash. Ah, that sucks, man. Oh, that sucks. You don't know how mad that makes me. I'm so glad I didn't lose it. It's the only thing I got left from Dad. All right, so Cassidy's letter and Chris's letter and grandparents' letter. Right. So he's still 16. His birthday is in August, August 15th. Um What's the date? I know I don't think it's August, but I think the last time was February and it's 2 months from that. So it's April ish. I don't know. Brody's letter. No, that's not what I meant. But you would help me right now, bro. It's cool how he's keeping all these letters. So he got like keys and pencils. At least having only only one eye amps up my disturbed artist cred. Hmm. Bright side. Why don't we even have these? Nothing's waiting for us back home. No, I just hang on with them. Okay. Oh, so I did get my toy back. All right. Guess I'll hold on more and more to this as we go south. Yep. Hot dog man. I swear I'm going to give this back to you. I don't know. Aww. Our trip to Beaver's Creek Christmas market seems like a, lo a lifetime ago. How do I have Sean's stuff? I mean, Daniel's things. Where are you now, Captain Spirit? You and Daniel were a great team. Daniel loved that thing back in Beaver Creek. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe this is one of his favorite toys. Okay, so I'm gonna check out this journal in a second. Ooh. I like seeing how far we've gone. And all the stuff I can collect. All right, so I got a pen and a card. Okay, let's go through this journal. And here's where we found out where Jacob lives. That's not what I meant. Meryl, Big Joe. All right. Okay, so here's where I left off, I think. Wah. Okay, so I drew that at camp. Agent 420, <laughs> give me hot dogs, Cassidy. The Wild versus Hannah the Wise. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's the picture he drew of Cassidy. The heck is this? Me? Two story house. A carinel is freaking me out. 
Hmm. Do these have dates? Ah, more campfire bliss. Depression night. Everyone shared their worst memory. Everyone felt like crap. What a wonderful world. Went to bed early again with Daniel. Kinda wish I could have stayed like everyone else though. Meh. Is this the day where I could have gotten a haircut? I mean, I may as well have who. Cops and or doctors cut off all my hair. How come Finn got to keep his hair? And his nose ring. You'd think those would be the first thing, at least the nose ring. You'd think that'd be the first thing they remove. Oh well, maybe they had to do eye surgery or whatever on me and that's why I had to get my hair out of the way. I don't even know if that makes sense. Oh well. Okay, February 24th, 2017. I'm a swearwolf. <laughs> oh, woo! Ah, Daniel messed up again. Gotta fix it. So tired of running away. All right, so this is. You had time to write in your journal, sketchbook after all that went down. Okay. Uh, March twenty sixth. So almost two months exactly. February 24th to March 26th. Was in a coma for weeks, blind and screwed, and in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospital freaks me out. I hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. Oh, wow. I don't like it. Yeah, so this is all the weeks, all the days that he didn't have his journal, so he just wrote on paper. And now he stuffed it in here. I like it. I like these details. I tried to kill time. This room is like a cage. But I suck now. No death perception, no art. Okay, so I've seen this before. This is what was in front of me in the hospital. Special Agent Flores. Uh, yep, I have already seen that. Happy birthday, Daniel. Clarence Stephen sent me a letter. Right. Joey. Sketch. Okay. Doesn't look bad, glad he's around. Yeah. Okay. Flores tried to frame me. Again. Can't blame her for trying. May 9th. Okay, so we're in May now. Yeah, that's another difference. Um, I talked in the last episode how Life is Strange 1 was central to Arcadia Bay and Life is Strange 2 is traveling all over the West Coast. And now Life is Strange 1 was over the course of five days and this is like probably it's been over six months by now it's over the course of several months so that's cool i like that i like how it's different had to knock the guard officer out so i could escape hated when he called me a cop killer but i had to do it to save my butt <laughs> to save my ass keep going sean like they don't have enough against you already Bumped into Finn on my way down the scaffolding. It messed me up. Brought back too many memories. Aww. But I've got to focus on what's important. What's most important. Important. Reach Nevada. Find Daniel. All right. Is that your drawing of Finn? It looks like a zombie. So so hard to drive. It's a miracle I haven't been in a wreck yet. Ugh. Yeah, he sh should he even be driving? Is he legally allowed to drive with his eye? Gonna pull over soon so I can rest. Driving in the dark with one eye is the absolute worst. Would feel a lot safer on the edge of the cliff on a moonless night. Hmm. Is that like... Oh, okay, so... It's a wolf, it's a blindfolded wolf walking on a rope with a balancing stick. That's how Sean feels right now. It's so cute. <laughs> Racist dickheads beat the crap out of me because I wouldn't let them humiliate me. My whole body hurts. Oh, stomach, lungs, but I don't care. My only priority is to find Daniel. No more gas, gotta walk, end of the road. Oh, so I guess... I could either do what they say and avoid a beating or stand up for myself and 
Get the crap beaten on me. I don't know which is better, I guess, I don't know. I guess I should have done what they say to keep Sean safe, but no one wants to sing and dance because of threats. Oh well. Oh, and that's the paradise I drew. Okay, I think we're all good. Um, actually... Did I see something else? Oh, okay, okay, so these are different maps I had in different episodes. <sighs> Looks good to me. Just keep walking, bro. Daniel better be okay. Yeah, he better. <sighs> Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. <sighs> Even his whining. Yeah, you can wait to get out on your own. Yeah. Now you are. And it sucks. Mm, miss my brother, I'm sure. Well, I was gonna say, I'm sure Daniel misses me too, but what if he doesn't? What if he's having a party? What if he's having a... Having a ball with Jacob and his little sister? <sighs> oh, sorry, Sean. Don't worry about your feet. Just pay. Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Don't stop. Well, do stop. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Logging uh, lumber. Okay, uh, be cool. Just see what he wants. He wants to help me out. He's gonna give me a ride all the way to where I need to go. I can't get there by myself. Truckers can't be cops, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be a heck of an undercover vehicle. Huh? What if it's Brody? What if this is like his side job? That would be a heck of a coincidence. Oh, there's Jesus in the background. Just in the get distance. ready to run. If he's a freak. I want to see what the subtitles say. Hello. Open. Hey, need a lift? Maybe. It's too damn hot to be walking. You look like another racist. Darn it. Oh, am I getting judgmental now? <laughs> am I getting... Am I putting my perceptions on him? Ugh. I mean, the, how skeptical Sean is, I feel like he would walk, but I feel like I want him to get in, because how is he going to get in, get to Nevada by himself? But before I get in, I want a bit of dialogue first. I want to talk to him and check him out, make sure he's cool. I don't want to get in now, but I don't want to walk either. I mean, if I walk, I feel like he's not gonna let me. I mean, I think I have to hitchhike. So if I walk now, then is some other guy gonna come? It makes me feel like if I walk, he's just gonna come out and be like, hey, whoa, whoa, hold on, where are you going? So let me just get in. I don't know, it'll be interesting to play this again and see the outcomes of all my choices. But Sean needs help, he can't do this by himself, so I'm gonna trust him. And I'll get in, and if it turns out bad, well, I'll make it out somehow. Yeah, thanks. Hold up. I don't like his face though. I don't like his face. Darn it. Why would you help me? I don't have any money. Man, I don't like his face. Maybe he's sweet. Hopefully he's sweet. Please let him be sweet. They wouldn't put two races so close together, like back to back, would they? Alright, checking out his car. Looks like you live in here a little bit. I don't know if this is just your trucking life or is this your everyday life. So, where are you headed? Jeez, what the hell happened to you?
I ran into a couple of assholes. Who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Hmm. He sounds sweet. Anton. Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> too much information, but 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Well, I appreciate it. So, is that your boss or your buddy? Why is Don't he so... Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a hitchhiking law? Why cool. is your buddy so concerned about you stopping for five minutes? Is he that much of a micromanager? Oh well. So, you hungry or what? Why are you, you being so hungry? nice? Oh man, oh it's so good. It's turkey and cheese. I don't eat ham. It's a turkey and cheese sandwich. Oh man, but you, I can't accept your kindness. What if you, what if you're bad in the end? Um, I'm gonna take it, cause Sean is desperate. He's famished and he's hot and he needs to eat some food. So I'm going to accept his kindness and hopefully he doesn't turn into a jerk later. <laughs> it's an awkward pause though, the cameras to keep switching. Okay, yes, thank you so much. <sighs> I am. Thank you. Why are you being so heard, nice to me? Can I ask you that? My name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? It's so My good. wife packs the best sandwiches. Oh, it's homemade? <laughs> Messy. I can taste best the love. Best sandwich ever. Oh, yes. It's like the best Seriously. thing I've had. Thanks, sir. In six Anton. months. Anton. Anton. Right. <laughs> best meal since my grandparents' house. I may have my issues with Grandma Claire, but she can throw down a meal. What's your destination? That's what I'm supposing. Mm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. What's your story? Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Mm. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. What do you have to reassure Just me? Just a boring trucker. Are you gonna nap? If I have a choice, I would stay awake. But Sean probably is exhausted. I don't think he slept well the night before. To pair at advertisement again. There's a casino nearby. Last stop, even point. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Just Anton. be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Are they? Really? Oh, because okay. they're super religious. And for a good buddy. I wonder if Jacob is reclaiming his faith. That is the name of the episode. Okay, I wonder what will happen if I walked. Hopefully it's the last time I see Anton, not because I don't like him, but because if he comes back, then he probably is going to turn into a villain. We shall see. Life is a gamble. Bet on the Lord. Hmm. Playground. Alright, so this is the town. Where on earth would I find... Daniel and Jacob. I didn't get an... 
a dress or anything. Yeah, it is Easter season. He has risen. Happy Easter. Wow. Forgot about Easter. Yeah, it passed. I completely lost track of time. April, Easter's in April-ish. For sure. Claire wouldn't approve gambling. <laughs> Universal Uprising Church. Parking lot. Can't leave. Gotta find a lot of cars for a place in the middle of nowhere. Is it Sunday? Those people are caring Christians, cool. like our grandparents. Yeah. They seem to like to help you out in a pinch. Hopefully not too judgmental. Hey, you two. Are you okay, little girl? You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Hmm. Are you... Jacob's dad? Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Why not? No, I'm looking for someone. Uh, not really looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In Thank his you. eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Yeah, this is Jacob's church. Ooh, please don't be freaky. Uh, what miracle? <laughs> you haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll oh, be here any minute now. I know exactly Just come what's going on. And see for yourself. The whole church knows about Daniel's powers, and they're calling it miracles. Praise the Lord. Oh man. Well, let's go to church and see Daniel. <laughs> poor little girl. Cough sounds real bad. So I think that guy is Jacob's. Her father was nice. Maybe people won't judge me here. I think that guy is Jacob's dad. The girl is Jacob's little sister, and Daniel is here doing miracles. But we'll see. Check out this playground. My eye is itchy again. Mm. I can't scratch it though. Hmm. Must be more kids here. Hmm. Huh. Wonder if Daniel made friends. Kid friendly place. I hear the music. <sighs> so weird to picture Daniel out here. Should I go in through the back door? Picnic tables. Wonder how many people come and go through this place. Hmm. I don't know why I would enter through the back door. Smells like bacon and bread in there. Ooh. Oh, shit, I'm starving. You just had a sandwich, dude. <laughs> I mean, you might be hungry, but you're not starving. I mean, you should have... Your appetite should be satisfied. Eat Nevada a sandwich. is like a giant slot machine. <laughs> wow. Uh, Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. Utah. This church doesn't seem nearly big enough for that, but who knows? Sticker. Not much different than my hipster stickers. Let People go. People tend to showcase what they love. Let God. I like God. God is good. Hmm, let's see. I 
Okay, so I've walked around the whole building. Feels out of time. Quiet. <sighs> yeah, very humble. <laughs> okay, you know what? So I can go through here, but let me go through the back door. Let me see what that does. I can't see anything. Guess it's time to go to church. Take me to church. All right. Um. Over here. That's a lot of closed doors and fences for such a small church. Of course it's locked. All right, I had to try it out. It's not like they're having a party in there. I wonder what kind of community this is. Is that a guitar? Oh, feel that cold air. Nice. Oh, thank God for AC. So I can go upstairs. Pin box. Claire had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. Donate to our church. Take a pin. Spread the word. Hmm. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Wow. All you can eat barbecue. Come join Reverend Fisher and new disciple Daniel for a private picnic. <laughs> Oh man, well at least we know he's here, or he has been here. Sunday, fun day! May 14, 2017. Limited seats, $20 donation. Call everything donations instead of tickets. I gotcha. A society run by greed and technology. No... Videography? <sighs> Good. If Daniel's here... At least it won't go viral. Hmm. How many people actually obeys that? Wonder how donations can pay for all of this. I'm not gonna donate. I I just have a bad feeling about this, and I don't know. I mean, at a real church, I would. But in video Claire game church, like this place. I mean, you know, the pastor is gonna be corrupt or something. I don't know. So I'll keep my money to myself for now, and we'll see how it goes. Nice picture. Yeah. Wonder if she's in charge of this community. Oh yeah, the sh she's the reverend and her two boys. It's cute. Wonder if they'll let me in. Our kingdom awaits. It's so pretty. All right. Wait. No way. Is that Daniel? The angel Daniel? Behold the angel Daniel. Oh, shit. Yep, you're figuring it out too. Reverend Elizabeth Fisher invites you to witness the power of the Lord within our own child and church. Live miracles daily at noon at 4 p.m. services are all welcome. Oh, all are welcome. So it's like they're using Daniel to showcase their missions, showcase their miracles, and gather all the donations for themselves. It can't be good. It can't... And this is Life is Strange, so of course there's going to be something twisted and messed up going on. Okay, co-ed bathroom. Should I pretty up for church? Shit. Look at me. These people will freak when they see me. Wash my face. Better clean up first. I need so to... I don't scare Danny. I need to put my eye medication on too. Switch out my patch.
All right, let's get out. I don't like bathrooms. Okay, now can I go upstairs? Ooh, I didn't know it was going to trigger a cutscene. Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Oh, yes. You are not like, like the black church. sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, An angel. A child graced with the power of God. Oh my goodness, the this is not good. We have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member oh, and our latest miracle. Where's Jacob? The angel Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. Hallelujah. Jesus. Nice little white shirt and nice pants. Oh, Daniel. Here is Daniel. Oh, praise the priest God. who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. Catholic boy haircut. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Hallelujah. Yes. Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide God. us from the wilderness praise to our God. destiny. Now, Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. God, but he's not supposed to be used in this way. It's not for this purpose. We don't know where it came from. And you shouldn't exploit him like this. To manipulate your followers, to grow your membership, donate to your church. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God Daniel, bless all of you. Amen. Yeah, Daniel seems dejected, but if I reveal myself to him, I wonder if he'll fight me to stay or if he'll go willingly. Uh, 
As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word. There it is right there. Oh, yeah. There's only a few tickets left for uh, our picnic raffle next Sunday. You're right to feel Don't sick, Sean. Don't child of another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> hmm, it's so messed up. That's a nice picture. see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> oh, she's sick. You okay? Need some water? Uh, uh, no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's too bad. <coughs> hmm. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well... That's a long story. Kids are that's so curious, okay. I love them. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yeah, yours? I think that Aww. is Jacob's sister. You must be Jacob's sister. Yeah, there you go. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Oh, cool. Really? He's always talking about you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. Mm. What do you need? Out of the kindness of your heart. Okay, who's your Reverend? What's Daniel doing here? Take me to Daniel. What is this place? Uh, let's start. Let's start with what is this place, and then what's Daniel doing here, and then who's your Reverend, and then take me to him. What is this place? This is our home. <laughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we are all chosen by God. Hmm. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. Aww. I'm glad Daniel has a friend his age. So is this, did Jacob start all this? Because even back when he first saw the powers, he's like, what if this is a sign? What if we need to help him? Is this how you're acting on the sign? Is this how you're helping him? <sighs> Who's your reverend? Who is this reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Elizabeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. How was she blessed? <laughs> She can't ever sin. Yes, yeah, she can. The Lord guides her. She's sinning right now. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will mm -hmm. be like a late surprise. Poor girl. She sounds like she's so miserable with her sickness, her illness, whatever it is. I want to reunite with my brother. Daniel, you're the living proof the of their faith, box. and mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! Aww. You cannot! My brother! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. That happened at the farm? Because of me? No. I'm so sorry. Poor kid. I'm just glad I'm to be sorry. reunited with you. I know that Reverend's gonna be trouble. It's not your fault, kid. You're nine years old. I mean, you're ten now, but I got you. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have. 
It's okay. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. <laughs> I know, it's right? It's different. I kind of like it. I mean, it's cute. Sean. It's weird. I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I, I like could it. do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. Aww. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I can't stand I'm her. sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, Something tells me you didn't must pray be hard. a believer now in our Lord, too. Kind of, but not in the way that you're proclaiming. Ugh. 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 Yeah, I was just... Mm, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. I don't but have first, faith in you. I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Oh, they're so cute. Hold on. So what, Reverend, you're oh, going to whip him into shape? Into it's a pleasure to meet boy? you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So <laughs> what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family. I need to take my brother and get out of here. Daniel to have you by his side. Yeah, I think so too. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. I'm sure he does. Doesn't involve you. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me just call her out. You're using him to get donations for your church. It probably goes all in your pocket. Are you doing any sort of outreach or anything? I'm gonna call her out. I mean, it's between Mexico with Daniel or God or you. Mexico with Daniel is kind of just dodging the whole situation. Triangle is a lie. So, let's call her out. God or you? God, of course. This isn't his home. Because it's obvious that I'm his family. This isn't Daniel's home. That's where I'm taking him. In Mexico. That sounds very selfish. Yes, he has all he needs. Right here. Sounds more selfish to try and keep your... main attraction. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Daniel will be staying here. Whether you like it or not. Oh, shut up! Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. Yep. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for oh, him. Oh, shut up. I can't stand I her. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I can't stand her. You've led your brother into killing one of God's innocent creatures. Disrupting nature's balance. What did I this kill? This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. You're the one who's what? making judgments. Are you serious? I'm sorry. I can't my son. stand her. I'm not I hate your her son. so much. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on. Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me. Oh damn. Okay. What the don't. fuck? Did you fake that? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. 
Ben, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Danny. <clears throat> I want to stay. Just go. There's your so answer, Sean. Painful. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. Oh, man. What? Daniel! <laughs> let me go, asshole! This Daniel! Should, I mean, They're any church that drags their Stop. members out in you a chokehold. You just choke need hold. to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel, oh, okay, this is Sean. so painful Daniel. on so many levels. I hate this so much. I can't stand her. I hate her. Ah. <sighs> uh. There you go. Satisfied. Now don't you ever come back. You're gonna kick me out the church and say that you're full of grace and uh, forgiveness and non-judgmentality. Heck yeah, I'm getting up. I'm not even thinking about it. The hell are you doing? On, kid, don't make me do this. Really? You're not gonna win. So hypocritical. Oh, I hate them. I, I can't. I expect this from thugs. I mean, I've been in churches and it's not this ridiculous. I'm sure maybe some are, but... Daniel! Damn. Daniel! You're pissing me off. I, you're pissing me this off? This is private. What the hell? I have a legal right to stop any intruders. <laughs> like you. I just... Okay. ...want my brother. Yeah, this is all I want. he doesn't want you. You don't He's treat brought me. here. Your guests. This where he stayed. Like this in Next a church. time, I will not hesitate to use this. Yeah, okay. I get you. I get you. I catch a trip. I know. Get out of here. Y'all are just thugs. You're a cult. Daniel, hey! You're not a church. Daniel. You're a cult. Got your fancy Sorry. prisoners. Jacob. Nope. Karen? <laughs> you won't get him back. This is my mother? Wow. So, I got a lot of questions for you, Karen. Why'd you leave? Do you have powers? How could you abandon us? And what are you doing here? Why now, after all this time? I'm just gonna show up like this. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. How did Jacob missing? find you? And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. <laughs> so you finally decided to check on So this is what Jacob escaped from. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Sure, why not? Okay, Where so... Where are even going? I already have a hotel. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. So I'm guessing Jacob is still good. This is what he escaped from and ended up in California. So when California, when all that no nonsense went down on the farm, he and Daniel found each other and the only place he knew to go was back here, even though he tried so hard to get away from here in the first place. I need to talk to Jacob. I need to know what's going on. How did this all start? Goodness. Hot shower. I mean, yeah, I'd love to talk to Karen. I'm still skeptical of her, but it doesn't mean we can't have a nice, long, deep conversation. Oh, look at his bruises.
<laughs> I see those camera angles hiding all the important areas. Oh, super comfy. Is that a wolf logo? Man. Didn't or... clean the pain away, but that felt good. Sure it did. Karen stuff. I didn't expect to run into Karen all randomly like that. But cool, finally we meet her mom. After how many years? Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Always gotta check the mirror. Pam, you look bad. No, you look all right. Gotta change that dressing soon. You keep peeling it back like that, it's not gonna stick anymore. All right, double beds, I presume. Yep. All right, where is Mama? I wonder how long Karen has been here. Wonder. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? Miracles. So Karen did check it out. Hmm. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. She went to the barbecue. Probably donated twenty dollars too. Kind of pretty. Wonder if she made it. Seems like you still have a soft spot for her. Not surprised she's your mom. I know I shouldn't peek, but. Yeah, let's look at everything. Ooh, Whatever. Notebook. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Yeah, she's into poetry, isn't she? Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing, sore. I remember, know the feeling. There's no fighting back, that beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red-eyed truckers and sad families. Bad eggs, not the waitress's fault. She's a quick, hurried one, probably ending a long night shift. Tag says Clementine, 22nd-ish. Redhead dyed brunette. Eyebrows and skin tone don't lie, Irish descent. Owner's daughter, maybe? Mahoney's vague, polite smile. Busy mind, mildly clumsy, looks distracted, anxious. You called her Clemmy. Aww. Brother, boyfriend, boyfriend. Apologizes when the orders are late and she's the one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? Mixing up work, love, and sell them. Wait a minute. Mixing up work and love. Seldom makes a good match. That brand new baby bump under the stained apron. It's 2017 and young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing ever really changes. <laughs> I like to see her perspective on the whole restaurant scene. Just taking in the details and analyzing the situation. It's cool. Diner bills. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Hmm. Huevos rancheros. Those are delicious. Apple pie, red chicory coffee. Cool. Grilled cheese, cut fries, NY cheesecake, diet soda. Turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice, twice. My solitude days and dreamy nights just to find myself. Looking forward to turn back. Yeah, she's really poetic. Kingman, Arizona. Road Cafe. Is that the name of the place? That is the name of the place. Alright. Condoms! Who are you getting busy with? Glad to know she learned the lesson. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Did your were your parents ever married? Did you just Well I was about to say, did you just get shacked up twice and then left? But, you know, Daniel and Sean are years apart. You stayed for at least that long. This country is just way too big. <laughs> it's not too big. It is freaking huge, but I like it. 
Karen is always into Otec. I even think it's the one she had back then. Ooh. It's harder to track you that way. Well, I mean, keeping the same phone, I guess, makes it easier to track you, but low tech, the ones that don't have GPS and all that, <sighs> makes it harder. Okay, sweater. We've come a long, long way, buddy. Oh, yes, this is my classic. What does it say? Squat hoodie? It's awesome. Oh, this is my backpack. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Put all your stuff in there, all your worldly possessions. Did I put anything in my journal? Got picked up by a trucker not far away from Haven Point. I was nervous, but the guy was sweet. Even hooked me up with a sandwich. Really needed that boost. Aw, well cool. Did you scratch out his face? Alright. Oh man, look at the sandwich. It's like, <laughs> it's got wings and a halo. That's awesome. Okay, Daniel has been brainwashed by a cult. Yep. He wants to stay with them, and I screwed up with his, this reverend. I just fell right into her trap. I'm so stupid. Also, Karen? WTF? Is she doing here? How did she find us? I don't want anything from her. Nada. <sighs> Alright. But I am in a position to accept whatever kindness offered to me, so I will do that. It's with a tablet. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggle with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing slash geo locate geolocation. Password is eleven twenty seven oh eight. Hope you find your son. It's not what I meant. No, 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 no. How do I go back? Okay. Hey, technology. Ooh. She came prepared. Welcome to your new life at the Universal Uprising Church, Haven Point. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Together, we will begin the journey to a new life guided by the Spirit of the Lord and Savior. Bless you all. All right, I really didn't need to read all that, but <clears throat> why not? Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. A slice of Haven Point. One of the great mysteries of Nevada is how it balances the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. Really? Few tourists travel from around the world to seek religion here, but in the tight-knit Christian community of Haven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired a devout following. As she told me in an interview at her peaceful church office, Reverend Elizabeth Fisher has spent her whole life as a humble disciple of the Lord, feeling the call to share his love and glory in this dark age. I had a powerful experience as a child that put me on the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand. But this is not about me or my story, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. And tell me they did. The members of the Universal Uprising Church speak with hushed awe of their pastor and how she inspires them. Reverend Fisher just wants to share her blessings with us, says Corey Johnson, 34, a recent addition to the congregation. I was pretty cynical before I went to one of her revivals. You could feel the, the electricity when she spoke. People were crying, including me. Hmm. I don't really get too emotional when I'm listening to sermons. Uh... I don't know, it's just a... <sighs> Such a touchy topic. Looks like a roach motel. Sand snake motel. But nobody will find me there. Hot dog man, mustard party too! Oh, that's an advertisement. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, it's a two star. Beds are super uncomfortable, but it's cheap. Nice pool, but dusty AF. Nice roadside motel, cool staff. 
All right, well, it's inconspicuous. I like it. It's a bed to sleep in. And it doesn't break the bank, so I'm good. All right, let's read her note. There's two. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom, all yours, if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Dear Miss Diaz. Alright, so she still has... the Diaz last name, so... Yeah, she was married. She walked on to marriage. My name's Jacob, and I worked with your sons, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There were some... There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address if you get this. I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. Please hurry. Did you contact him? This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. Hopefully. Ooh, I can s draw. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. Monster? Okay. Just draw now. Why Don't not? think about anything else. That's what it feels like over here. Ah. <laughs> That's cute. I like it. Alright. Back to reality, dude. Don't close the window and leave it open. Oh no. Oh well. I'm not going out. Gotta wait for Karen in here. Don't want any fresh air. Okay, so there I can use her mobile phone to call, I suppose. I've seen everything. Get in? What does that mean? Microwave and fridge and towel. Time to hit up Jacob. Yep. I mean, I guess that's the bathroom. Well, I mean, this is off the balcony and. This would be out the door, so where the heck is the bathroom? Anyway, let me call Jacob. Karen's always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Okay, so obviously I'm not using her phone. Alright, here's the room phone here. Oh, let's look at the Bible. I really should finish reading this someday. Hmm. It's a big book. 66 books, actually. 39 in the Old Testament, 27 in the New. Anything in here? Ooh, casino token. Sorry. I still have no game. I'm gonna take it though. And the house always wins. Oh yes, it does. Not fond of casinos, all sinners. Hmm. Bad we are. All right, Jake, what's up? How'd you let Daniel get into this mess? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brady Highway. There's a, a, a 
Junction, just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. I'll be there. Man, Daniel Damn. and I just got reunited. He couldn't really talk. And now we're separated again. Oh, this again. is so messed up. Because he's indoctrinated. Okay, so I can sit and wait for Karen. Oh, uh, let me see what this is about. This is the bathroom. I'm so You're so drained. Okay, so this is the bathroom. I guess... Uh, I guess that other door is outside the dorm room. So we exit the dorm outside and then, you know, go downstairs into the parking lot and everything. All right, cool beans. Let's wait for mom. Let's just rest while I wait for her. That's how she comes back. Is growing on me. I like it. I'm glad I got it. Something to remember Cassidy by. I wish I had something to remember Finn by. I should have gotten a piercing or something, but that'll be all good. Hey, hey Mama. Sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? You know how weird this is? I haven't seen Walter you in boys years. Don't fight fair. Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? <laughs> Acting like you remember my favorite food? That'll do. You can't just act like everything's normal. I mean, you can, but you know I'm gonna confront you at some point. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf fat down. Don't tell me what to or at do. at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. You're using that mother voice <sighs> on me? Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? I mean, I'm sure she has a Fair enough. great reason for leaving. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother but out of a I cult. Don't know. Sean is. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Sean is right in some point. <laughs> He's right to be angry. There's no reason good enough to leave your children with no explanation like that. All right, we almost did it. Got some help. Dad taught us. <laughs> we got some help. We just got lucky. And got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? I got tons of questions yeah. for you. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey. I just want you to know what I did, and why, if you care. Tell me. So, ask me anything. There's just one question. Why did you leave? It's right there. <sighs> All right. Why did you bail on us? Make me understand. I wasn't meant to be a wife the challenge. or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. That's a cop-out answer. But I wasn't happy. If it's true, and then you're the despicable. To leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. But something Are tells you me that's serious? not true. You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I, mean, I had Daniel, you were about eight and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me. Somehow I just 
felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again. This is such bullcrap. I responsibility. So, I mean, if it's as simple as that, like, okay, I understand how... I mean, I... I feel like I'm giving her more understanding than she deserves, but I understand how you could be not cut out for a mother and you don't want this life and you really just want to leave and do your own life and if that's how you feel, then... Well, like, a mother's supposed to stay and sacrifice herself for her, her children's happiness and well-being. And even that statement, I don't know how true that is. Like, I, I don't think I want children because I think I don't want that responsibility and I feel like raising a kid, I would screw them up. But if I had a kid, I would do anything I could to raise them in the best possible way, even if it drove me insane. And is it wrong to expect mothers to do that? Or mothers who want an out, do they get a pass? There's so many stories of fathers who walk on and their kids and I mean the thing is we don't give them a pass either they're treated as scumbags as well so you walk out on your kids you're a scumbag doesn't matter the reason especially if it's a pathetic one like that so you were a good little wife for eight years and you gave birth to your second son and she's like you know what I'm out I don't want to do this anymore peace I think she's lying to me. I think there's a deeper reason. We'll see. Of course Dad knew. He dumped us. So you just dumped us so you could be free? Yes. That's exactly what I did. You're just so fucking selfish. What are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Oh, you're Sean, actually telling me where I told you live? You. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. I mean, if you walk out in your kids, then why do you care? And if you care, then why did you walk out? Doesn't make any sense. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. It's a big state. New York didn't really do me good, so. Traveling the country? Yeah. Okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. Yes, you did. We only have one life. Can't stand that and line. I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. So if you stayed, you'd have regretted. For it. years, I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. I mean, I understand that statement, but I don't but understand I never leaving your children. But I caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel. You never stop caring. <sighs> Her words make no sense. If he never stopped caring, you wouldn't have left. Esteban is such a cool, open-minded guy. If you told him, if you talked to him about what you were missing in life, which I'm sure she did, like, why couldn't you go on family vacations together? You only have enough money to support yourself and not your whole family. You save up and you work towards the goals and you create the life that you want. And you have to make some sacrifices, but you don't just abandon your children and say you care and then come back. And expect them to understand. <sighs> there's another reason here. I mean, maybe there's not, but I think the way the game is going and the storytelling, I, I think there's a deeper reason why she left and she's using this as a cop-out. But I don't know, maybe this is just it. <sighs> no, I don't even remember her last...
statement. But I'm not going to say too late. And I know it seems a bit too agreeable. So I'm going to say I'm not, even though I have no idea what I'm answering. I'm not. We were a real family. Without you. Well, Esteban was meant to be a father. I knew he would take care of you the way you deserve. Except he's dead. We've got no one left. No, we're not even on the second floor. You have no shoes on. Oh, Sean. So much stress. So much turmoil inside him. Do you have a car I can borrow? I'll bring it back, I promise. Caution. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Oh? Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. What happens after this? You're helping us because we're in distress, and then once we get everything cleared, you're going to ditch again, and we'll be on our own. She already told us why she ghosted us. What did you do? I don't know what that's talking about. So I feel like Sean in the moment would say, I don't care. I'm tempted to say, did you miss us? Cause I don't know. I just feel like it. So did you miss us or I don't care? I mean, that's like the hopeful and the pessimistic options. Did you even miss us? Did you even think about us at all? Christmas morning, when I was nine and Daniel is one, did you think about us opening our presents and what you're missing out on? Or did you just, were you just thankful that you don't have to buy Christmas presents anymore? You don't have to waste your money on that expense? Did you think about us at all? Did you, you said it was the hardest decision of your life. So while you were with Esteban and a family, you hated the pressure of being what society wanted you to be, and now that you're free, were you truly happy and free, without a care in the world, without a thought to your sons? Did you miss us at all? So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I don't get her. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. I don't understand her. All, I miss watching you grow up. Oh, shut up! See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. You walked out on each of those moments. Ah, which one should I say? Your loss. We used to do so much. It's your loss. It's your choice. You missed all those moments with me? You're the one who walked out on them. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. The problem is I, I do to. believe you. I don't know what the what did you do question is really asking. Let me just see where that goes. So, what did you do when you left? Oh, you mean all the time where that did you she, go? she had away from I her family? I pursued some dreams. Got it. And failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Not to you? Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. 
They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried. Yeah, she's but Claire's. I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. It's Claire and Stevens. Family, daughter. religion, social norms. It's just all about security. I mean, I all. get that. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail. I get me. wanting to escape that. I tried to escape that. You don't have to abandon your family to escape that. I mean, Esteban, he wasn't super religious. Esteban is super cool. You could have told him all that and he would have moved the earth for you. It does sound immature, but it does also sound like she's regretting it. She said she chased some dreams and failed and learned lessons. So she, it sounds like she didn't actually do the thing that she wanted to do. Was it worth it? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. I'm glad to hear that. For now, I found my place in the world with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. All right. So inspiring. What do you mean by peace? You don't look very peaceful. Are you... Do you have this, this melancholy over you just because your sons are in trouble? Or are you not at peace, but it's what you want to believe or you want me to believe? How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. Yeah, may as well ask the last question. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I mean... I almost did. Parents split up all the time, and you can go travel the world and everything, but call your kids once in a while, send them presents, send them cards. You don't have to be with them every day to at least... You said you thought about this, thought about us and you cared about us, but you just didn't want to be a mother. You could be a mother from a distance. You can talk to us on the phone. I mean, I see why that would have worked, though. I don't know, some kind of compromise. You can't just disappear in your kids like that. Even deadbeat dads who see their kids once a month is better than what she did. Okay, so this is in regard to contacting us. We're in a clean break. Don't really feel like being that bitter as the other option. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. Yeah, I, I got you. when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. All or nothing, I got it. Hmm, so who got it worse? Let's just talk about me for a change. It's okay to think about yourself. I wasn't so lucky. I remember everything. I mean, Daniel still has optimistic thoughts of his mother. So I wasn't so lucky. Yeah, I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean, I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? You felt abandoned. Or now? Why would you feel guilty? Honestly, I didn't feel anything. I just kind of deleted you. No, that's and not- nobody would blame you. It's not true. It's what she wanted, not me. 
I hope I can make it up to you what was that again car that passed someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. Did you used to go there? <laughs> whatever. You sound so careless. You it's do. like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. Yeah, really. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Hmm, but you can live with yourself for leaving. I got you. I don't know where I got my smoking habits from. Esteban hated when I smoked. Oh. Uh, I don't know which ones are timed and which ones are not. Die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. You want it? I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Mm. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. If That's I when you know someone is good to you. When you can smoke. just sit together. Then it would have been like a mirror of what Esteban did. Watch the universe do its own thing. Oh, I could go back inside any time. Those cars are going uncharacteristically fast. All we right. We should go back inside. Let's go. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. What, you gotta trust me this one time. What happens in the future, you're gonna... You're gonna help us out and then disappear again. I know, I need all the help I can get. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Walkie-talkies? Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? No, I'm good. No. I got this. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Not really. Gotcha. Sorry, here, Karen. Try this on. Oh, you got me an eye patch. Okay, that's cool. You're a cool mom. I mean, you're not that cool, but you're kind of cool. I mean, you're not cool, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, you know, Daniel has How do I look? powers, right? Pirate. Great. Thanks. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. Don't you still need to put the patch over it, though? I'm ready it, to though? get Daniel. 
Oh well. Okay. Sounds like a heist in the making. Karen, Sean, Jacob gonna save Daniel. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Meeting point the next day. All right, before I get too far into it, I'm actually gonna call it there. So I feel like I'm going through this story really slowly. I hope it's not too slow, but I just have so many thoughts and reflections on this whole Karen Sean situation and how she left her kids. Is that the whole story? Is that the true story? I don't know. Time will tell. Uh, and the whole cult with Daniel, it makes me so mad. It pisses me off. So we gotta go rescue him with the help of Jacob. Hopefully he will be a help and not a hindrance. I still don't know what I feel about him, but we'll see what we talk about at this meeting point. That'll be next time, so I hope to see you there. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode, the next part of Life is Strange 2, Episode 4. 